When I was in my addiction, all I could think about was how am I going to stop and live on life's terms, basically. I never thought about school until I got clean. I didn't finish high school because I thought like every teenager I knew what was best for me. And so I thought, okay, well, you don't need education. You'll be okay. Just get a job. You'll be okay. Well, no. That leaving school led me into going into and meeting people that weren't very healthy for me. That's when I got into drugs. I got into some prostitution. I got into some human trafficking. Me not finishing education and going to college like like what we call um, addiction normies, that's where I led to be an addict. That addiction, uh, we see that just getting that drug is the focus. And whatever it is that you have to do to get your drugs is just what you got to do to get there. I hit the streets and I hit the streets running. I left my three kids behind because I I wasn't always an addict. I had was a, what you call functioning addict. I had I was engaged. I had three. I was taking care of a set of twins and I had another daughter. So, but I was hiding it. She was in, engaging in risky behaviors. She was out there for a while operating what they call renegade, which means she was operating solely so she could get money for dope. You can only get so close to the fire before you get burned, and she got burned. I'm doing making my own money my way, and I'm keeping my own money until I met this one guy, and I let my guard down, and that's when I got human traffic. Kids were pulled from her, which it should have happened. If she was in that deep of a, an addiction and, and that deep of a struggle, it probably was the best thing. But it also was a driving factor for her to get sued and to get her act together. And I see a lot of times the victims won't do it for themselves, but they'll do it for their kiddos. That's when I really started thinking about my, my life. Viola trusted, right? I mean, I mean, she was in the building, which was the old courthouse. That's where the Family Justice Center is located. So she's in the building. There was probably a building that she entered into to face criminal charges at times. I can only imagine how uncomfortable it would be to come into this building with that prior experience within the building. And in spite of that, she came in. And then she opened herself up to trusting other people. And then most importantly is she asked for the help. There was a, a opening for a human trafficking advocate, an advocate to help the homeless. I wanted to do that. But one of your requirements was to have a high school diploma or GED. So that's when Susan was like, you could go to Comeback Kids and get that. I was like, yeah, she goes, yeah. So I, I sat on that and I sat on it. And, and you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. Comeback Kids was very on my own pace. I logged on. I was able to do it as I wanted to. So like in between shifts, in between my breaks, in between everything, I would just take it out, do some do some homework. And it was, like I said, it was at my own pace. Like I didn't feel obligated and rushed. I don't think I would have got my high school diploma today if I didn't have that flexibility. Getting my diploma is a big part of my story because now I can do what I want to do. Now I can go back. I already have the um, experience. Now I get the book smarts. For me, it was to... Um, start something I finished to show my daughter not to, you know what I'm saying not to give up when I was in my addiction I gave up on a lot of things but once I got clean and I, I went back and I started doing my step work and I started talking to my sponsor and stuff and there's things that I didn't complete and I'm starting to check them off now that made me push even more to be to finish because I was gonna be a high school graduate and that was a big thing for me and now that I got my high school diploma, I can go to Delta, I could go to UOP, I could go wherever I, I choose, UEI, wherever I choose, because I got what they require is a high school diploma or GED. Being able to give her access to earn her high school diploma is kind of like the, the whipped cream on the Sunday, right? She did the big stuff, but we're just that added extra stuff that helps make everything complete. It's not hard. Everybody's like, oh, it's going to be too hard for me. I don't have time to do it. It is manageable and it is flexible. As 
So at the Gospel Center Rescue Mission, I am the I am the assistant director of what they call recuperative care. And what recuperative care is is we are getting homeless individuals who have an acute medical need, who don't have, like I said, they're homeless, and they come, they get referred from the hospital. They're not sick enough to go to a sniff, but they're too sick to be on the street because if they go back in the street, they'll end up right back in the hospital. So what we do is, I'm basically like what we call the mama bear. I make sure they go to their doctor's appointments, and we make sure like like a safe place for home health to come and take care of wound care, take care of their wounds, because if a lot of wound care people, they won't go to tents or homeless camps or under the bridge to go and help a person change their dressings. So like we have a safe place for they can heal and hopefully not go back to the streets. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes they just come and just want to do a little bit of a couple of days and they go back on the run. I just try to take care of them, show them that they are loved and they're, they, they deserve better. Thank you for having the, the program to help me to accomplish what I needed to accomplish in life, to so go further in my education, further in my career. Just thank you.